Hello and welcome to this lecture and from this lecture onwards we are going to start building a simple chat application or a chat room application I should say in Firebase and you could actually go ahead and design your own chat application after uh, learning from this section. So this is going to be a simple chat room application wherein multiple users could join in and just start adding in their own messages. So this is going to be a simple one but you could uh, basically go ahead and tweak it according to your needs. You could change the layout you could also change the backend database structure you could also go ahead and add in a few more security features or you could go ahead and make it a single user chat application so let's go ahead and quickly start creating the project so for this we are going to need a new project so make sure to select a new application let's name it as chat application click next and make sure to select an API level so I'm going to go with 15 or 17 whatever you could use so I'm going to go with 15 here I'm going to select empty activity and let the name of your main activity be main activity so the first thing which we need to do is that you need to go ahead and design the layout for your application so here what we will do is that we will first create uh, what a sing single message actually looks like so here in this section what we will do is that first we will learn how to create uh, the layout and then after that we are going to add in the sign in and login functionality so for this part we will quickly go ahead and create a single layout so as to define what a single message actually looks like so we will go to the layout file over here and resources layout and create a new layout resource file and let's name this thing as single message layout click OK and as you could see our layout is present over here so the single message layout is going to look something like this so we'll keep this thing as a linear, linear layout itself and for the height and width we are going to change it so the width is going to be actually uh, let's say match parent itself or let's say wrap content rather than having match parent so we'll type in wrap content and the height is going to be let's say 100 dps and we will also set the margin from all sides so the margin is going to be let's say 10 dp so after that what we want to do here is that we want to display two things the first thing which we want here is that we want to go ahead and display the name of the user so as to understand which particular user actually set the name so we will set the width as well, wrap content and the height as wrap content as well and in here we will add in some kind of text color so I've actually chosen a text color so in order to save time I'm just going to copy it and paste it right over here so this is the text color which looks something like this and after that let's go ahead and also define the text style as bold so I'm going to type in text style equal to bold and after that let's uh, for now specify some kind of text as my name over here so I'm going to type in my name and after that you could go ahead and you could also add in some padding to it so let's say the padding is going to be 5 dps and let's set up the margin from left let's say layout margin left is going to be 5 dps as well and the margin from right is going to be 5 dps as well so let me just quickly set that so that's going to be layout margin right and let's go ahead and set in the id for this as well so that's going to be id at plus id let's say username text so as you could see once we have the username let's also go ahead and display a message over here so that's going to be text view that's going to be wrap content and wrap content for the height and width let's say and I guess the height should actually be 30 dp to be appropriate that looks much more better and let's set the ID as let's say message text and let's set some sample text equal to let's say hello friends and you could also set the text style to bold as we have done above if you want to and then after that what you could do is that you could also set up the left margin so we will type in margin left let's set this equal to 10 dp let's set the text color to completely black because we want to make sure that our message actually appears big and bold so black actually looks appropriate over here and after that let's set the 
padding or I guess padding is fine and now also you need to set the margin from light right so that uh, the layout is not actually overlapping on the text so that's going to be layout margin right equals let's say 15 dps so once this thing is done uh, as you could see we are almost good to go and if you want to you could also go ahead and add in the uh, view for displaying time here as well so i'm going to quickly go ahead and add in the text view for time but right now we are going to use a static value for it but when we go ahead you actually need to make that value dynamic so i'm going to quickly pause the video type in the value for the last text view and then we are almost done okay so as you could see i have added the value for time as well so all these values here are actually dummy values and we are we have displayed them just for the sake of reference so now the next thing which you need to do is that if you want a particular shape for this particular layout you could go ahead and set that so what you need to do is that you need to go to the drawable folder create a new drawable resource file and let's name this thing as something like let's say message shape and in here you could almost delete everything and create a shape from scratch so that's going to be shape and after that you need to type in this line of code which says xml ns and everything like that so i'm just going to uh, type that thing in over here okay so as you could see we have our shape layout ready and here you need to type in stroke if you actually want some stroke value over here so we'll type in stroke and in here we will go ahead and we will set the width to let's say 2 dps and let's say the color is going to be let's say hash ff 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 so that's basically the border color and after that let's go ahead and close the stroke tag so as you could see now we have our stroke and for setting up the solid color we will type in solid that's going to be android color let's set it to this value which is f 0 f 4 c 3 make sure to make it capital and finally end the tag and as you could see right now we have our color over here as well and then finally let's add some corners to it so that's going to be corners and let's say the order corner radius is going to be equal to 10 dps so once we are done with this as you could see the shape is ready with us so you only need to go ahead and to this linear layouts background you need to set up the shape so background is going to be at drawable slash message shape so once you do that as you could see now your message looks quite appropriate and if you want you could go ahead and remove the border radius from here and only keep it here on the right hand side so as you could see we have completed designing the shape of the layout and we have also designed the layout of a single message over here so in the next lecture what we will do is that we will create the layout of the main activity and we are going to embed this thing into a recycler view so that each recycler view item is nothing but this message item over there so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you